Welcome back, everybody, to Great Day at 9A. We're going to get a quick check of your early morning weather in just a minute. Yeah, but first, let's get you updated on some of today's top stories. The Bristol community continues to remember fallen officers Alex Hamsey and Sergeant Dustin DeMonte. Patrol officer Connor Hogan says Bristol will fight to keep their legacies alive through Fund the First donations. All money goes to the families. And a neighbor in Morris is speaking out after saving a 10-year-old from a bear attack. This is an incredible story. Jonathan Digamus picked up a metal pipe and threw it at a black bear when he saw it attacking his neighbor's grandson. Now, while the bear was distracted, the boy managed, fortunately, to get away to safely. Heroic effort there. State officials and law enforcement are teaming up to help stop wrong way crashes here in the state. At least 41 people have died, 100 more hurt in those wrong way crashes here in Connecticut since 2019. Now today, officials will inspect new wrong way technology currently being installed at high risk ramp locations. Hey everybody, meteorologist Mike Slifer here in for Scott Haney. Yet again, still talking about the clearing trend that is expected to continue throughout the day, which means we get to enjoy some sunshine this afternoon, but temperatures don't climb too much despite the sun. Tonight, we clear things out entirely, which means temperatures are going to drop back down into the 30s for us. Expecting widespread 30s, uh, frost advisories in effect for areas highlighted here. Even outside of these areas, we will likely see some frost. You want to protect your plants tonight, throw a cover over them and help to uh, keep them just a little bit insulated from the chilly, chilly weather expected tonight. So today, rain ends, a drier, nicer afternoon, highs in the 50s, mid 50s tomorrow and breezy. So that breeze is going to add a bit of a bite to the air. And we're looking similar on Thursday. I swear I didn't just copy and paste here. There could be a frosty start again on Thursday, but the wind picking up may actually prevent the frost from forming. So that could be something we avoid and looking long term. I mean, by the time we get into the weekend, temps back into the 70s and the sunny stretch continues right into next week. Sounds good to me, my friend. Thank you. And you know, we are just three weeks away from Election Day. Can you believe it? So we're trying to help you learn more about all the candidates. And this week, we're actually focusing on the first congressional district. Now, that district represents sections of northern and middle Connecticut, including cities like Hartford and Manchester. And then it hooks as far west as Torrington and Colebrook, and then as far south as Southington and Portland. Now, Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff has a closer look at the front runners in this race. The race for Connecticut's first congressional district is between Democrat John Larson and Republican Larry Lazor. Larson is a longtime incumbent. He's been in Congress since 1999 and is seeking his 13th term. Lazor has never held public office. He's a doctor, practicing as an obstetrician and gynecologist. Being a physician, you relate to people right away when you get out. A lot of people know you. I deliver babies. We wanted to know what their priorities are and why they feel they're a better choice than their opponent. Congressman Larson says he wants to continue to fight inflation, protect and expand Social Security, and fight extremism. The events of January the 6th still weigh heavy on my mind and has cast a pall over the whole election. However, Laser says a strong majority of Americans do not have faith in Congress he supports term limits. Inflation is also a priority for him, and he blames Democrats for spending too much, nearly $2 trillion, to create jobs and help families recovering from the pandemic. Help, yes, it's a matter of how much help and how much we're spending. It's not an endless bucket. Not one Republican voted for the American Rescue Plan, which Larson says has helped every city in town. He says Democrats have made investments in infrastructure, created child tax credits, and reduced prescription drug costs by allowing Medicare to negotiate prices. He says Republican colleagues only talk about spending and not investment. They pretend that the only thing that's happened is that Joe Biden became president, as though there wasn't a global pandemic, as though there were no supply chain issues that have, were the cause and the start of inflation. Larson, like many Democrats, is pro-choice and is concerned about what will happen if more Republicans get elected. We're talking about women's reproductive rights. We're talking about banning contraception. We're talking about gay marriage. But Laser is also pro-choice. He considers himself a moderate Republican. I'm in there talking to women every day, so I see really tough situations. Larson has been in Congress for 24 years. He's never even faced a primary. 
Laser feels it's time for a change. Our next profile is the race in the second district between Congressman Joe Courtney and Republican state legislator Mike France. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, and of course, you can watch the complete interviews of the candidates running for the first district right now on our streaming news app, WFSP Plus.